I'm Helen Campbell, DG Interpretation of the European Commission, and I'm going to talk about Facebook and some aspects of its rise in fame and fortune. Well, it isn't Facebook so much that has risen in fame and fortune as the CEO, the young gentleman who founded it all six years ago, Mark Zuckerberg. He set up the site in order to allow for exchanges among his friends and Ivy League associates, and it has become absolutely enormous. It's become the website for social interaction. People don't talk anymore, they write to each other on Facebook. They send their updates, their updates on profiles, uh, what they're going to do on holiday, they exchange photographs, and even to things like marital arguments and gossip sessions, Facebook is the way in which they communicate. And apparently that form of communication is now what everybody wants. Perhaps not everybody. It is mainly the category of below 30 years in age. 75% of the subscribers to Facebook are younger than 30. And as I said, this is an enormously popular website so much so that they now number half a million subscribers. It does mark a huge cultural shift, there's no doubt. It's a different way to relate to your friends, and indeed a wider circle of friends. It also means that people are much more open, perhaps less reserved. I read recently about a couple who were exchanging very um, lengthy comments and turning, turning into a big argument, whereupon other friends had to intervene between these two to put the argument to an end, finally bring it to a happy close. It seems to me strange that people would argue in public, but that's what's happening. You can, of course, broadcast to everybody your likes and your dislikes what books you may have enjoyed reading, what films you saw recently. And that, you might think, would be that. But it isn't just your closed circle of friends that will be reading about your likes and dislikes, because that's not the way Facebook works. If you want a degree of privacy, so I read, it's quite hard to come by, because the default settings on Facebook allow this information to be circulated quite far and wide. And so you might say that you liked a particular book, and then, lo and behold, the next day you will find Amazon.com sending you lists of other books by the same author. In other words, you don't have any privacy. The information has already gone much further than your group of friends. This is what I personally find very worrying indeed. I don't know if things will change, I know that Mark Zuckerberg had to apologize because of this privacy issue, but apparently very few people are bothered by it. So perhaps that is just the way of the future. People won't speak anymore, they'll just talk through Facebook. Thank you.